Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Blaze Killing. Today we are back with another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing y'all how to make a ski ball machine in Lumber Tycoon 2. Now, if you don't know what a ski ball machine is, I'll put a picture on the screen right now. It's one of those things you'll find in an arcade and it's super fun. And I thought, hey, this is totally possible in Lumber Tycoon 2, at least in, in a certain sense. I'll talk about what I mean by that in a second. And well, here is a tutorial for that, a basic tutorial for that ski ball machine. So you see in the picture, uh, it's gonna look a little different from what we're going after today because in Lumber Tycoon 2, you can't really throw balls uh, in, in, in the same way that you'd be able to throw them in real life. And um, But in any case, this, the concept is the same and you can see that you're throwing a ball into a uh, different different options of different point values. I don't, don't really know how to describe that. Different little receptacles that are of different point values. And of course you can decide what those point values are for your specific game. But in any case, we're gonna build this a little differently in the sense that we're gonna build a ramp to start with. And then that ramp is gonna go up a little bit. And then we're gonna create those little point values, those receptacles, if you will, on the ground instead of on like an incline as you see in the picture. But again, the concept is the same, and here's a quick tutorial, hopefully somewhat quick, on how to build that. So first, you're going to need some inclines, so some wedges is what I mean by that. So you don't really have to follow the exact wedges I'm doing, but you know, for the sake of, of ease, why not? So 4x4 wedges are what I'm going to use to build the first incline, and then what's going to kind of be the jumping off point of the ball once it builds momentum and kind of goes into those little holes, I'm going to be using a 2x3 wedge. Of course, you'll be needing more than what I have here, but I'm just laying this out for the sake of uh, simplicity. And then you can uh, use different wood types for different point values if you so choose, since you don't really have a way of writing like what point value that specific receptacle is going to be. Also, what would be helpful is probably building a little ladder for yourself uh, so you can build more easily. So I think the most difficult part of this build isn't filling in blueprints or anything like that. It's probably getting the wedges to be in the right place. I'm on console, you might be on PC or a different platform, but it's kind of difficult to get these wedges to line up well. So I'm just gonna start building this little ramp. If you don't need help building a ramp, you can totally skip ahead to a different part of the video, but I'm just gonna be generally putting the ramp. The issue I run into, you'll see here, is that these things start to overlap in a really strange way, at least for me. They might do differently for you, but I'm just gonna start by building up a little ramp and of course I will delete those other ones that are underneath this and I'll just time lapse this or cut to when I can actually show you the finished product of this. All right, so essentially I built the main part of the ramp and yes, I know you'll see some irregularities here because Lumber Tycoon physics and, and the placement of blueprints is quite problematic to say the least. <laughs> Maybe you'll, you'll have some more luck with this than, than I did, but this should still work. Uh, essentially what I did is again, I use these four x four wedges and then once you get down to a certain point, those four x four wedges might not work for you depending on like where you started exactly. It's kind of hard to predict things perfectly, but you see if I use one of these wedges, it would have gone up a little bit further and then created a, a barrier for the, uh, the ball. So you can switch to different wedges once you get to a certain point. There's tons of different wedges in the, in the Woods R Us. Uh, and I only have a few in my inventory right now, but essentially once you get when, once you get to this point You can test it out with the ball and of course that's what you'll, you'll be using assumedly to be uh, performing this uh, Ski ball build you can use I'm sure a pumpkin if you really don't have a ball But a ball or an eye I guess is another interesting one I would obviously change how, how large you would have to make those those little receptacles I'm not really sure what else to call them but you can test it out once you get to a certain point with your ball. Now make sure that your ball doesn't fly off your base. You can set up a, a, a car like I did. You can set up a, a, a tree also like I did. You can just build fences however you wish for it to not fly off your base. And you can just test it once you get to a certain point. I made my ladder a little taller and you, you don't have to make it this tall, but you can make it taller than this, shorter than this. That is this, this ramp. I'm not sure how momentum works in Lumber Tycoon, but you can just test it really quickly and it should go pretty pretty fast. Now we're gonna build a little ramp, just a little ramp, probably a two by three wedge on this other side. And we're not gonna make this too high because the ball actually isn't as fast as it looks like it is. You'll see that it actually loses a significant amount of speed once it goes up this ramp. And then from here, you can start making your little, your little containers, your little receptacles uh, for that ball. And then just some ideas for you. I'll cut to kind of when I finish making this build. You can have some that are lower point values, say 10 points, and you can have those be larger in size. 
And then you can have ones that are smaller in size that are harder to get into but are worth more points. And then to indicate those points, again, you can use different wood types. So I'm just going to demonstrate really quickly what that might look like. I'll make a really tiny little holder right here. And then if you get the ball somehow in this holder, you'll get, say, 50 points, right? And then I'll just cut to when I can actually show you what this whole build looks like once it is finished. All right, so here's the finished product. Uh, essentially what I did after I cut the video, we finished off the ramp in the last part, right? I showed you guys how to make the different receptacles. So I made some different sized receptacles using different uh, wood types. Here are your different wood options if you can get a you know, good look at those and see uh, which you may want to use for your build, which you may have available to you in the first place. Uh, so say I want to make this big one 10 points, and then this one 20 points, this one 30, this one 50. And you can adjust those based on size, based on the, the wood type you use, I just very quickly uh, made some different options here and, and these are by no means ordered in terms of how difficult necessarily they are to get. I guess in a sense they are, but you get the point. You can adjust those however you see fit. And then you can make a little, little fenced area around this place and then you can maybe even add a barricade outside of this fenced area if you have concerns of the ball going elsewhere. And then you can make, make different um, you can make boundaries along the edges of these things. I didn't necessarily do that. I just did this to cover the cover the inside and make it look a little nicer. It's not too nice. Again, you can spend more time on it than I did and make it look better. But the point is that it's done and it looks decent, okay? You can, again, make yours look however you wish for it to look. So I'm gonna go up here and show you all how it works. I'm gonna drop my ball and boom, just like that. I got, well, what did I say this was, 20 points? And say if I wanted to get it in the sinister one, it probably wouldn't. It probably would take me way too long. But you can kind of adjust things. How we? I'm gonna try to get in the the blue one back there. Oh darn it! So say you missed one, that's zero points, right? Or five points. I don't know. However, however you wish for it, your point system to work, but probably zero points. But that's just a really basic tutorial. Again, you can make this, customize this further if you wish. Add some different fences to the the boundaries of of this ramp. You can totally make this, this ramp taller, add different options here, adjust the point system however you see fit. But this is a, just a fundamental, basic tutorial on how to build a ski ball machine in Lumber Tycoon 2. So invite your friends after you build this, try it out with them, and uh, have a lot of fun with this. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell for me so that you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Without further ado, though, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.